So in this video, I'm, I'm tracking the 60 degree of freedom pose of my hand, which is holding a cutter tool, and I'm sending that uh, pose flexion information through Unity, gaming, Unity 3D game engine, and uh, I'm moving a 3D mesh, a hand mesh accordingly, according to that pose detection. So the weights that I'm using for uh, dough, uh, this one is a new weight, uh, I've never used this one before. Uh, this weight is, uh, this one uh, which is uh, which is now using pretend BGG. Uh, previously I never used pretend BGG, uh, there was a bug in the code. Uh, now I'm using the 60th uh, uh, weight uh, of uh, this new weight. and uh, that which is trained on pretend VGG. Okay, uh, so back to the detection. Uh, the orientation of the orientation of the hand. Uh, let me show it in here. The orientation of the hand in here is not proper. Uh, when it's not running in here, I set these uh, experimentally. Probably in the final implementation, this have to be done more methodically, and uh, I have learned how to do it properly in in Blender, uh, um, later on I will develop another data set to, uh, to make sure that this is correct next time and I have full control. Um, so just for experiment, uh, demo, this, this works uh, nicely. So this new, new weight seems to generate less amount of uh, outliers than before. That tone now is really problematic. Okay. Um, just for um, comparison, let me load up the previous weight that I usually used. So this weight was uh, was uh, th this network was trained without using pretend BGG. Uh, let's see how it, how how it compares to my most recent um, weights. see the number of podcasts probably is higher. Yes, the number of podcasts higher now. The, the new generation weight is definitely better. We'll do more experiments on actual surgical footages. Uh, to make sure that uh, this observation is correct. Thank you. Thank you for watching.